Today, we'll go over a brief introduction to setting up Canvas. So the first thing I like to do is set my home page to modules, which you click over here on Choose Home Page and click Course Modules. Now, yes, you can have it go to the syllabus or the assignment list or whatever activity is going on, or you can make a home page with pictures, but I do like the modules. And my first module tends to be like a review of other things that I have. I also have a start here where there'll be the syllabus and anything that I think I want students to know. Now, to create a module, you would just click Create Module icon right here, type it in, and you can have it open and close as you wish. Um, but once you have a module, you can add things to it. And how do you add information to a module? Just click plus. And you can add an assignment. You can add a quiz. And you can add a file. Uh, let's say you wanted to upload a file from your computer. So I just click on new file, choose file. And let's choose this uh, PDF. All right, and we'll add the item. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the module, you will find it there. Now, I don't want that, so I'm going to remove it. Now, another thing that I, I do that when I, um, let's say it's a syllabus or uh, something that might change, is in my Dropbox account, I'll copy the public link. Um, you do have to pay for the business or the, the Dropbox Plus to get that but I think it's well worth it. So when I add an external URL, you just click on add external URL. You put in the link, you give it a name, and you add the item. Scroll down to the bottom, and you have to turn it on as you wish. But something else that you can do is that was just taking something from Dropbox but if you had a video you wanted to add you just crap grab the URL from the video and go from there I tend to use external links but nothing says you have to now the next thing I want to go over is uh, creating your gradebook and that's done through assignments and you have your you know your standard things that you would have in any class where you have a homework block in this case is 15 percent there's a project in this class which is 10 the final exam 25 and two midterms of 50 and since these are both worth 100 points, each one is worth 50% of 50% or 25% of your grade. Um, sometimes people like to drop the lowest homework grade. You can actually do that by saying drop however many lowest scores or maybe even uh, how many highest scores to drop. Now, once you have that, then you can actually look at the grades. So you just click on grades. And here you have the students and hopefully I'll have that blurred out. Now I have a lot of automatic assignments. But if this was just a regular homework, you could click on it and type in whatever grade you needed to type into. Something else you can do is export it into a CSV file. Open it and type in the numbers and the homework that you wanted. Save it. And 
then I can import it back in and it will reload the it'll load the grades in so there's more than one way to to do things also uh, back in grade book at the very end is the running total of how students are doing once the whole course is done you can export it again and then however it is in your green sheet that 98 percent would be an A 90 would be uh, A minus and then you can upload it into uh, to PeopleSoft but that's pretty much um, how to get started with Canvas um, in the most simple way and um, while you might think I've it looks pretty like a lot of work where each module has whatever you're supposed to read that day um, and then whatever notes I've assigned and then even the homework assignment so if I've created a homework assignment I can assign that homework assignment to that module so that the students know that it, it effectively belongs there but once you have your course set up and yeah I go by module rather than by date is because you can rapidly change it uh, from semester to semester but all that effort it's worth it um, if it makes the students find the information more easily they can always the grade book is always available to them so you get less questions about what's uh, what their grade is there's no sh kind of like no shock but um, that's it